Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today in the review room, we are going to take a look at a 18-inch, almost an 18-inch. It's a quarter-scale NECA Real Toys action figure of Catwoman from Batman Returns. Now here is the box, and I gotta say that the box is friggin' awesome. Now I'm gonna be displaying this thing in the office out of the box on a display with Catwoman, Penguin, and Batman, but I gotta say that the box is so incredibly cool. So if you're an inbox collector, chances are you're gonna want one to display and want one inbox to collect. If you can kind of build a display, getting the uh, the cat smile at the top, that little plastic piece, that would be something cool to take out of the box and create a display out of because I think it's pretty neat. Now inside the box you can see that the figure has some fantastic detail and it's got like snow speckle painted right onto the uh, plastic showcase display in front and this on top is that little cat thing I was talking about I don't know some diorama creators gotta find a way to rip that out and put a light behind it and maybe do something really interesting with a diorama so now when we yank Catwoman out there's a whole bunch of twisty ties. I already started taking the twisty ties off because there's a ton and I didn't want to waste time in this video doing it. So she's secured in this package like you wouldn't believe. I'm excited to get this thing displayed in the office because it's incredible. Now this is how tall she is to a Predator action figure that's about 8 inches tall. This is also from NECA Real Toys and you can tell the uh, difference in height. So the head she comes with in the box is the Battle Damage version of Catwoman and it is incredible. It's a home run of the likeness of Michelle Pfeiffer, my all-time favorite Catwoman. This is actual doll hair. It's not plastic. You could tell in the image, but the sculpt and the paintwork on this is incredible. The detail on the outfit, the cuts, the tears, the rips. You could tell this battle damage look. It actually has real um, material, real soft goods poking out of some areas and uh, giving it that uh, realistic feel between the hard plastic action figure and the soft goods. It's got that rubber around the waist, adding to the flexibility and the movement. The fingers have the, I think she stole these from what, a sewing machine? And they got great detail on them. And then here's a rip on the leg. In the back of her has fine stitching detail on the, I have no idea what that thing's called, that tightens a uh, female's waist up to give her that curve. But you got some great detail on the back and all these threads poking out of the figure, giving it that look that the stitches have ripped. Her ass area is a really pliable rubber, and that's really cool when it forms to the legs and the back giving it a more realistic shape when you actually move it around to display it. We'll look at that later but you got some fantastic detail from head to toes. Uh, all the buttons the painted well, sculpted well you got the high heels which are movie accurate but they are a pain in the ass getting this displayed. That's one of the only cons. This is an almost perfect figure except for getting her to stand is horrible. Now the alternate head has a little bit of wear and tear, it got like a rip in the corner, but this alternate head is the first one I've seen on display, and I wasn't really impressed with it, but getting it in hand, first off I think the idea of having this head and the battle damaged head, the two alternate heads, that's genius, that's a perfect fit for this figure, but I was not blown away with this head until I got it in hand. Let's take a really up close look right here, and it's just gorgeous. Now you can pop off the battle damaged head. It's really easy. Just give it a nice little tug and then you can pop on the regular head, the standard head. And the figure looks great with both heads. I thought this one would be my least favorite, but to be honest, it's it's difficult deciding which one I want to display her with. The good thing is I can display her with one head for a few months and then switch it up, put the other head on, giving it uh, multiple display options, and I love it. Look at that likeness. That is fan freaking tastic. It's like right from every time you move her head around, either up or down, you get an accurate look uh, like she's she's jumping right off the screen. It is friggin' awesome. And again, this is my all-time favorite Catwoman, and there's so much nostalgia from when I was little, so I'm just completely blown away by what NECA has done with this quarter-inch figure. I am usually not all that impressed with some of their faces, but this one is perfect, just perfect. 
Now one thing we get as an accessory is a display stand. There's holes on our feet. You could pop the stand in here. And I'm really disappointed they didn't just give us two because it kind of uh, it kind of lifts, raises one foot up and it's a little bit difficult to get her to stand. She's just horrible when it comes to standing. But sometimes you can get her in a, uh, like right now, th that was pretty easy. She stands. I'm going to tap the box to see if she'll fall. But she's standing pretty good, you know? And I don't know how the hell I did this because every other time she falls. Now looking at this hand, this is the taser holding hand and you can see all the fine detail next up we have the whip and this is another perfect idea they put a metal wire in the whip so you can give it some form and it's got great sculpting work on the handle looking like a, a realistic whip next up is an open hand kind of when she told Batman to stay back when she wanted to kill uh, Shrek is that his name this has some fantastic detail as well the sculpting work in the leather getting that leather like even though it's just plastic is fantastic same same thing with the claws. Really small but great detail. Here we have the taser. Love this. They put that smiley face on the taser and it has some fantastic detail as well as a clip. And I believe that clip's on the Catwoman. I just can't really find a spot. Now up close you can see that the taser fits wonderfully in this hand that's mold or sculpted specifically to hold the taser so that way one button's on the index finger and another button's on the thumb I think this is a perfect fit and it's easy to just slide it into place and then pop that hand on look how wonderfully it holds it that is great now for her articulation she looks up really good she looks down really good there's a lot of good solid movement in her head area she looks side to side really good as well so you get some good attitude with that head and I think that's important with articulation in the head getting that attitude now her arms rise up really well I think the articulation in the upper body is fantastic the articulation in the lower half is where we run into some problems so she raises her arms really good and the uh, movements are nice and stiff so they don't feel like they're going to wear out right away. Now she has a double joint in her elbows. So you get some nice posing possibilities in uh, both the right arm and the left. And some good articulation in the wrist as well. Which is definitely needed, again, to add some attitude in your posing. Now when it comes to her side to side, this is an additional rubber piece that is around her waist, her hips and her waist. And she has some good movement. Now it does stay, like if you lean her back and you lean her forward. But there's a, a part where you can lean her forward and it might come back on you a little bit. But you can still get a good amount of articulation. Probably more than you really need with this figure. Because again, it's going to be difficult to get her to stand up if you have her leaning all the way back or all the way forward. But again, it, it'll become difficult to get her balanced if you have her leaning all the way forward or leaning all the way back. Because of the uh, high heels she turns good but again it's going to offset the sculpt a little bit so you might want to uh, keep an eye on that when you pose it now this is where you get the most of the problems you hear that it sounds like you're breaking the figure and i had to go easy i had to spend like 30 minutes before i reviewed this moving the legs around because i thought i was breaking it now doing a split like this this is no problem great articulation it clicks and clacks like it's going to break but it's solid it's moving the legs forward and back which is the huge problem it feels like you're just going to snap this figure in half now here you can perfectly see what i mean by the the butt area it sculpts nicely with the uh, leg because of the material they're using for that butt area it forms around the sculpt of the leg part the thigh part however it doesn't form that well when you go the opposite direction but moving the legs backwards you get a nice uh, form around the ass area we get double joints in the knees as well which is great for this figure and for the articulation she got movement around the upper hips you can move it a little bit as you can see here and that is really helpful for the placement of the legs but again we're gonna get to the problem area where we lift her legs forward and it just feels like I'm gonna break this thing you you hear that <laughs> so you can move her leg forward you get that ass area that is hanging low there's nothing you can really do about that you see that there there's just nothing you can do about that I love how it molds to the leg when you articulate the leg backwards but again forward kind of put it on display where you can hide that the best you can and her 
ankle articulation is really good. It's really stiff. In this leg in particular, it kind of feels off. It feels like the hole or the peg is in the wrong spot, or maybe it was drilled a little bit off, so her ankle always feels like the leg isn't on there all the way on my on her right leg on the figure I have it kind of looks like a defect and there's nothing I can do to correct that but she looks great if you take a look at her and then take a look at Catwoman from the movie she looks fantastic they did a terrific job probably one of the best this is actually my very first quarter scale figure I've ever held and looked at or reviewed in my life next up I'm going to be reviewing the penguin and I want to get my hands on some predator ones to take a look at at the sculpt and the paint work and see how incredible they are but this one is fan freaking tastic all right guys i am uh testing out a new microphone it's a lavalier mic so this is going to be a little test but also i wanted to add that she cannot stand <laughs> to save your life uh, i will be finding a different method to stand her up so that way i don't have to lean her on anything she looks fantastic though. I mean, she is incredible. With these neck a quarter scales, I think I'm going to end up getting a Predator, or I would like to have a Predator. And I definitely want a Penguin. They did a fantastic job with the Penguin as well. Also, this right here has a clip on it. And I don't know if you're supposed to clip it to her waist here, but you can if you want to store it on her or if you want to store it on her side where you can see it, it's totally up to you because if you move her around, you can get gaps between her plastic and then the material for her, uh, um, her waist here. Clipping it on the front since it goes under her boobs won't be too practical. It'll look kind of silly. So if you want to store it on the side or the back, I think that's probably your best options. But she is incredible. I mean, incredible. I know these go up for sale for around $100, $105 free shipping usually from what I can tell. And then once they sell out, the resellers and collectors, they upcharge like crazy. I know I have a couple. Oh, Ninja Turtles. That's the ones I want to get um, for the office. The old school Ninja Turtles, all four of them. And I did pre-order Leo and Raph and Mikey from Big Bad Toy Store. I couldn't get Donnie. And he's up to like 200 everywhere. So I think I'm going to have to wait around for him at a reasonable price. These are great. I think for $100, these are definitely great. Once you start passing $100 though, 75 is the, that is the perfect price. If you get, because you can find some of these for around 75, 80. Some of the Predator ones I noticed they'll drop down before they go up. But she's incredible. I mean, you can put her in multiple different stances. They give you uh, different hands and stuff. It's just an absolutely incredible figure. So my final thoughts as you guys look at these images, these are uh, promotional images from NECA Toys of the Catwoman figure. My final thoughts, I highly recommend this figure. If you are a Batman Returns fan or you grew up with this, if you collect figures or maybe you just want a couple nice display pieces for your office or your home or whatever it may be. Nowadays, more and more people are, are buying these items and they're not just toy collectors. You may get people that might buy this Catwoman simply because they are a massive Catwoman fan and that's all they they want or maybe they'll get the penguin or maybe a huge predator fan somebody will buy them a quarter scale predator and that's literally the only thing they have in their house uh, and or office uh, you don't necessarily have to be a toy collector or a figure collector to pick up these pieces if you just love having these uh, on display kind of like how you would hang up a picture a uh, picture of a nice sunset or whatever it may be instead of hanging up a poster of Catwoman you can have this piece that looks like a shrunken down version of Catwoman. It's in 3D. Uh, you can look at it, the front of it, the back of it, the side of it. You can put it in different positions. It has different accessories. So there's multiple different ways to display this piece. And you'll never get sick and, sick and tired of this piece because of uh, all the different ways to display her with the hip in so many different poses, with the whip in so many different poses, with the taser in so many different poses. Uh, 
Uh, it's just up to your creativity and the articulation on the figure and then again trying to get it to stand up. Those are the only things standing in your way. And in closing, I have to say that this piece has definitely gotten the map seal of approval. It is fantastic with just a few flaws. Thank you for coming by the review room to take a look at this NECA Real Toys 18-inch quarter-scale figure of Catwoman played by Michelle Pfeiffer from Batman Returns. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Subscribe now.